we want to include him in our lives because we love him and something, blah, blah, blah. Because we love him or something. Sometimes I'm really bad at talking to the camera. Good morning! It is bright and early here at the Kyles, and we are getting ready for the day. It's Saturday, so we're not we're not forcing it too quickly, but we do have a channel for trailer to film today, which means I need to take care of all of this, and maybe this, and yeah, we need to pack up most of the studio, so I've got to get, like, all of our, uh, the microphone and all, all the recording equipment put together. I need to shave my face too. So Nat and I are both going to shave and actually try and clean up. <laughs> LOL. You have no idea how many times these clips end with moments of silence where we think, did I communicate everything I wanted there? Yeah, I think so. And then it just kind of trails off into awkwardness. Thank heavens we can edit. <laughs> We are on our way hiking up to the location where we're f filming uh, the opening and closing scenes, at least, of our channel trailer. Natty's over here. Hello. She has wrapped Tiberius in her sweater. Not because he was necessarily cold, but because she was worried he might get that way. She's good at momming. And I've managed to fit everything we need into my arm and the kid's backpack. And he's off. Billy Goat Sean is up there exploring, trying to find us a nice little place where we can post up and start recording. Billy Goat. Meh. On another note, we're in a nice spot right now. This spot might work. It's actually really nice to be out here. This is the quietest environment I have been in for a long time now, for several months can just hear the wind lightly rustling in the tall grass, hear some birds st stepping through the trees, and I hear a little Billy Goat Sean coming down this way. <laughs> hey Billy Goat Sean. What noise do Billy Goats make? I forget. Meh. What? Meh. What was it? I just wanted to hear to make the really good noise so I didn't have to. Did you find anything? <laughs> There's some really pretty views up there, but that's not... There are places you don't take babies on hikes for. Ah, okay. Quick side note. I'm trying to film a little snippet for the channel trailer, and Tibbs is fussy over there with Sean, and I started doing this to the camera to try to soothe the camera, like, it's okay, camera. Oh wait, you're not a baby. <laughs> Cutie pie. I think one of the things that's been the biggest surprises for us has been that how quickly you adjust to having a kid and kind of go back to at least semi-normal life, essentially. I mean, he's not eight weeks old yet and we're already back in habits that we thought would take a long time. You do have to, of course, start working in extra time for him to eat and things like that, but um, it's been... Uh, amazing to both of us how quickly it's just like, and life's, life keeps going. You adjust, you take the kid along, etc. It's both more enjoyable and it can be more challenging sometimes, but I'm really grateful that we adapt so quickly. <laughs> Matt and I were just talking about um, 
the ability to adapt quickly. Adapting quickly is a principle that we have adopted and loved from both parkour and just from personal experience. One of the things that we've noticed, and we started noticing this a couple years ago, but has made uh, quite a big difference in the decisions we've already started making with Tiberius, is two kind of very different parenting styles. And with everybody has to make their own decisions. This isn't meant as a, a criticism for anyone. But what we see is that... It seems that people either like to say things like, oh, when you have a kid, your life stops. But I think Sean and I prefer to look at it as when you have a kid, your life with that kid begins. You, you keep living your own life. You just adjust to having them join you in it all the time. The, the difference is, and that's a good way to put it, is I think of it as an inclusive is the word I use in my head versus a sacrificial parenting style. Everybody includes their kids and everybody sacrifices, but here's what I mean. Some people take the idea of I'm going to be a parent and so I want to include my child in all the things I do in my life so that I can teach them and we can have uh, we can build a life together. Others tend to take the view of a child is here, now I have to sacrifice everything in my life to take care of it. There may be times where that's necessary, but I personally think that for us it's a lot better to uh, include him in our lives. We've made a lot of decisions on purpose. We want him to understand why we've made those decisions, especially the ones that we catch flack for, the ones that are very different. We've chosen to make decisions that are uh, different from the mainstream, so to speak, and we want him to understand why we've made those decisions, and then either be able to judge for himself whether they've been good or bad. So as a part of this, one of the things that we've kept in mind, and this isn't just with parenting, it's almost anything that we tend to do, is a workout principle. It's called progressive overload. And essentially what progressive overload means is if you want to get better at anything working out, you're going to have to keep making the workout more difficult. One of the things that we've done is we have worked to make sure that we haven't avoided the, the difficult things that we want to do. Uh, the first few hikes we went on with him were pretty difficult, trying to figure out Today to... was difficult. Today had a couple it moments was, of difficulty. It was really fussy there in the middle. We had to stop and pull out his changing pad and change him and find a spot to change him on. And, and he needed to eat. He needed to eat, but... But the thing is, is it didn't bother us this time. We've been through that enough times now that we planned for it. We had everything ready. Um, and the spot was gorgeous, so the film that we got from it was worth it. And we will continue to do that because every time it gets a little easier. One of the nice things that I'm noticing is that Tibbs is also getting used to it as well. And isn't that the whole point? Is It's not just about Sean and I adjusting, it's about making sure that he has a fairly graceful adjustment as well. And to go along with that, now when we go outside, he really enjoys it. Like, he had a few minutes where he was fussy today, but he also spent a good amount of time looking at the trees and at the mountains and just had just, that look of awe on yeah. his face and was loving it. Like, I love seeing his face like that because only an innocent child can portray that. <laughs> you can't mimic it, like, to be so impressed and awed by the simplest things. And in the end, he may not remember this, but as we continue to make sure that we're including him in all these adventures, it'll give us a lot more in the way of memories, and it'll start to give him experiences and memories that he will remember for the rest of his life. I remember going camping with my grandpa when I was really little, and it's shaped who I am today, and I'm hoping that we can help to provide some of those same experiences for him. The pup over here doesn't usually sit like this against the couch unless he's sitting with either me or with Nat. He likes to come up and lean just like this against the couch to get attention. So we left, and instead of following us around like he 
likes to do, he came over and sat with Tiberius as we are getting dinner ready. Hey, baby. How are you, kid? <laughs> yeah. Do you like sitting next to the dog? Yeah, I would too. He's pretty cute. You're cuter. Don't let it go to your head. Can I help you? Yes. Just yep. creeping. Everybody but the dog is over here trying to get my attention as I edit. <laughs> yeah, Sean is busy editing film from today. Well, taking care of baby. And what is hard to see here... There's a cat. There's a cat, curled up, happily sleeping. Where were you <laughs> on the night? <laughs> Just kidding. Zeus beats. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Gertrude. Tonight we will be making the Mexican tacos. Observe. Start with the meat. Start with the pan. Putting the meat in the pan. Hopefully that's the right setting. Grab the meat and show it who's boss. Get in there. Try not to burn yourself. And next we season the meat with the spices. Now that the meat is boiling hot, I don't know what this is. I will put some. Put some of this. Actually, I really don't know what that was. Let's put some of this. Some of this. And now that the meat is seasoned and cooking, the next step is to cut the potatoes. Observe. Hello! 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 Now that the meat and the potatoes are combined, we just stir like so. Why do these tacos have so much garlic? I don't know, but I've got a hair. Gross. Well, thank you for joining us for another day with the Kyle family. We will be back tomorrow with more hijinks, fun, and other such things. Our new channel trailer should be coming out, I think it's going to be early next week. And we have our next single coming out on Monday, so lots of stuff that we're excited for. So thank you for watching today, and we will see you tomorrow.